Yo, what is going on guys? Gia here and welcome back to another legendary animal hunt for Red Dead Redemption 2. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at and hunting the legendary boar of the Blue Water Marsh. Now, as always, before we get into the hunt, we're going to look at our rewards and turn-ins so that way we can see where it fares with all the other hunts and you can prioritize the order in which you want to go about hunting these animals for purposes of incentive. So, the trapper and the fence that I go to are right next to one another in St. Denis. You've seen that in every video that I've covered. This is the place to go to, to just do everything all at once. It's just super convenient. And we're gonna head to the fence first to take a look at the ingredient list for the boar tusk talisman, because I'm gonna be showing you guys where you can pick up those ingredients in this video. We're not just covering the hunt. I want you guys to get this talisman because it is well worth picking up the items for so now the cobalt petrified wood is to the far upper left of the map where you would hunt the legendary white bison if you have not seen that video there is a hunting playlist for all these videos on my youtube channel and you may as well pick up your white arabian horse here as well which i found personally with the bison they were right next to each other when you watch that video you'll see what i mean and i'll probably cover that horse in a future upload so keep your eyes peeled for that but you're going to come up on this wagon so follow my marker on the map you're going to come up on this wagon and you're going to open this chest you're going to find an item to the right i'm not going to assume that it's money for everyone and then your cobalt petrified wood will always be to the left here and that is the first ingredient that we need to craft the boar tusk talisman now if you have gold earrings you're going to skip this part don't sell them if you have it hold on to it because you need at least one if you don't have gold earrings you're going to do a train robbery women on trains give you jewelry but it's going to take a hit at your honor for every woman or passenger that you hunt there is a high chance that to the very back of the train and and i robbed three trains in a row and picked these gold earrings up in this cabinet to the very back a high chance to get the gold earrings so i recommend you just do that if you're trying to save your honor and keep it at a higher tier going back to our fence we're able to make the boar tusk talisman which is amazing permanently decreases the speed that your horse health and stamina cores drain by 10 percent that is right up there with the white bison in my opinion completely worth it so now we're going to trade in our boar pelts. Now by doing this, you'll be able to go into the crafting menu and buy the craftable materials. Assuming you have all ingredients, you'll be able to finish the beaver flop hat and you'll be able to make the boar and bison fallows. Now, if you need any reference for the legendary pelts in both of these ingredient lists, feel free to reference the videos on my playlist because I covered both of those animals for those separate pieces of clothing. Now finally, with all that out of the way, you're going to head to the Blue Water Marsh, right where my waypoint is. Now, as always, when you get in the area and you've seen to the top left that you've entered Legendary Animal Territory, once you're by the marker, you're going to hit L3 and R3 if you're on PlayStation. Other platforms, you're going to use your eagle eye, and that is going to show you where the first clue is. You're going to see the golden sprinkles above that. You're going to inspect it, and you'll be able to trail and track the animal. Now, as far as my loadout, I've been loving the Lancaster repeater with the high velocity rounds and just using Deadeye. Make sure you have a full Deadeye meter. As I elaborated on in my last video, quality of pelt does not exist when hunting legendary animals. So just aim for the head and ensure the kill. So you want to click on your target multiple times while in Deadeye and just take care of everything. I got bit by another freaking snake. Let me tell you, this hunt was a battle because not only did I forget my gun and i had to call the horse over i got poisoned now if you get poisoned by a snake i'll also add that you can cure yourself with a potent health cure and that will remove the poison from you so super convenient if you're in this area and you do get poisoned if your clue does i got bit again if your clue does not come up when you enter the area exit re-enter and make sure you get that notification saying you've entered the territory of the animal and then look for your clue because i have had it happen to where the animal wasn't in the area and i had to come back in and then look for the clue by my marker so with all that being said that is it for this video i did not use cover scent once again i am getting torn up but I'm going to cut my commentary here and I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me significantly. Thank you guys for all your support. It's been growing like crazy lately. This has been Gia. Have a good one, guys. And if you live in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving. Later.